מלבד הכבוד. died 
died, didn't have enough space, so we just want to yeah, start so over. I was saying that, um, so I didn't play there, football there, so I didn't like the way the coaches were, I didn't like the way anything was there, so I didn't play there. I sat down, and I just focused on my grades, um, hoping to transfer next semester to the school I'm at now, which is closer to her, which, because I was six hours away, mm -hmm. so... Like, that train ride to come see her or whatever, come see my family, was, like, vicious. So, <laughs> focused on my grades, end up getting good in my grades, transferred to Carthage, which my brother goes there, too. So, yeah, that's, that's what yeah, I did. Yeah. Unless you don't you, care. You said where you at. Okay. Well, but, yeah, so, I did that. Yeah. So, now I'm at Carthage or whatever. That's and it's that. only like maybe an hour and a half. Like yeah, it's not. Two, I only really. have to take two trains to get there, yeah. and it's not that bad. Though. We have more visits. Yeah, we have more visits. So. Yeah, that's the backstory behind why we're in a long distance relationship. So, yeah. This is our advice to you guys, to whoever is going to college that is going to be separated from their boyfriend. And just to mention, we were together four years, four years. Oh, at that, at that point? No, we were together three years, going to be four years when you left. When you left. Oh, um, when I left for yeah. yeah, when he left oh, first August semester. 2014. Yeah. We were still three years. We were going to be four years. So we were together for a long time, being together all the time. All the time, all the time. literally, every, literally, we shared the locker. We went to the same high school on the weekends. We saw each other yeah. every single day. From yeah. going to every single day, seeing each other to only getting to see each other maybe two times out of the month. Uh, not even the month. Not even a like, month. We see each other. Like, maybe going three months. Like well, we missed the whole October, not even yeah. seeing each other. Like, that's the, that was a downfall because we, we, like she said, seeing each other every day to not. So that was really hard. That was really hard, but. I know something from my end was, that was really good that kept us excuse me, kept us together was Skype and you know, Skype and constant phone calls and everything like that. So if there's so much technology in the world for people not to be in communi straight communication with right. one another. You really to. If you really want to, you're going to pick up that phone, you're going to FaceTime, you're going to Skype, you're going to do whatever you got to do to communicate with your other half, with your partner. Like that. So, yeah. Looking back at that situation, knowing I was six hours away from you and everything else, like, it's hard to think that we got through that. That was really tough. It was, time. okay, I'm not going to shitcoat it. Was it was hard. really tough. It was really, 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 really tough. So I'm never going to say, like, oh, it's so easy. Long relationships are so good because long relationships will kill you. Will. It depends on will. How, how tight the relationship is. Yeah. So, yeah, we just stop. You keep losing it. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't easy at all. It was really hard. So it took us a while to get like the hang of it and everything like that. And now we're kind of used to it. I'm still going to be sad. I'm still going to cry when he leaves. And the next week, I'm still going to be sad and everything like that. But we know how to deal with it. Yeah, it, it helps me sleep at night that knowing that we. Close. Yeah. At least close. Yeah, we talk every. We're gonna talk every single day. Every day. We tell each other what's gonna happen. Like we, we know we're gonna be in classes at several times, which probably most likely we will. Mm -hmm. We know how to communicate with one another. We tell each other what we're gonna be doing and everything like that. So yeah. yeah then with the classes, it ended up that she knew my whole schedule and stuff. So, I like, did. Huh? Weirdo. But our first piece of advice is communication. Communication. With anything. With anything in a relationship. You need to talk. If you feel uncomfortable with your partner being so far away, they should be able to let you know that everything will be cool, everything will be straight. So, you need to talk to them. You can't just let everything ball in, which I know I'm good for. It. You got to let them know, like, oh, I'm going to really miss you. Like, what are we going to do? Divide and conquer, like, do a plan of action like what y'all gonna do y'all gonna talk to each other at this time of the day y'all gonna talk to y'all gonna text every day y'all gonna do this and do that and other things be able to communicate that with your partner because if you don't then you're gonna be sad and stuff and stuff is gonna get like ruined in your 
trust in trust in your trust in your partner is going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And I think that's another topic, trust. Yeah, especially trust. Yeah. Like being that far away, like just the fact that you don't know what your spouse is doing or whatever, like it could kill you, like on the inside. But that trust, that's when that trust comes in. That definitely a challenge for me. It's definitely a challenge for me. Another piece of advice I would say is make visits. Make visits. He popped up on me like three times and it was so adorable though. Like I was well, so I was, happy. I was so happy, like surprise okay. them and everything like that. Cause I popped up on him once last semester. He was even at his room, so he was like him oh, man, I popped up on you. Um, what's that Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was Valentine's Day. You kept talking about, oh, I ain't gonna be with you on Valentine's Day. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, make pop up visits, make time to go see your partner. Like, yeah, if you all the way in Washington and your partner all the way in New York, yeah, it's gonna become hard to yeah. get to each other. Like, you in California and I'm in Texas, yeah, this should might be plane, right? yeah but make a little time to see each other like y'all might have an overlapping spring break go and see them make time make to go time. see them yeah make time always make time to hang with your partner be right. with your don't, partner don't ever Everything. get so consumed in college like that that you get so consumed consumed with your college like that you forget about your life. Yeah, your life before college. Right. Like education, yes. Get your education. Get your education. But if your partner is also a great factor in your life, make sure you be down for them just like you was before you got to college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's another? If you can't, if you can't make time to visit, if you just can't do that, make sure that the person you with knows that you want to come see them. Be compassionate and act like that. Be loving. Kiss them over the phone. Kiss them. Love them. Be gentle. Yeah. Wow. He's with my hand. But yeah, make sure they know that you still love them. They still care for them sure. and everything like that. Make sure they know. All about balance. Yeah, it's all about balance. And when y'all see each other, when y'all do see each other, if y'all see each other, if y'all stay together, hopefully y'all do, whoever's watching this and need help, just be sure that y'all each other. No, I'm joking. Hey, that's true. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I don't, You're not I don't condone that. You're not joking at all. But yeah, make sure that you guys see each other, hug each other, spend time together when y'all can't spend time to get there, yeah, but it was really hard for us when we first yeah. separated, but we got through it and we're still yeah, here. It. It's like, with me, it's really, it's really the people, really. It's really the relationship and the people. Mm -hmm. It's all about the mentality. Like, if you really want to be with that person and vice versa, then y'all going to make it work. Yeah. But, you know, if it's weak to start with and then y'all going to call each other and it's not going to work. It's not. Y'all gonna get y'all gonna see in college you're gonna see all types of Y'all gonna stuff. see so much new stuff. You're gonna see all types of stuff. Right? New people you never seen before, new right. scenery, new everything. Especially if you never grew up in that place or anything like that, like you a uh, distance away from home. It's gonna be new everything, but you gotta remember who held you down or who was who was with you before you got to that. So yeah. As long as y'all remember who was there and you want to be in a relationship because you know some people when you get to college they do realize oh I would I don't want to be in a relationship. I, I want to experience. Yeah, I want to experience and everything like that. And that's, if that's okay right. too, if you want to be that person, let your partner know. Just don't have them dangling in the air like oh I still got a boyfriend. You know he out there cheating on your girlfriend out there cheating on you just because they don't want to be in a relationship anymore while they're in college. But let them know. Don't leave them in the dark. You know. If they can't take it, then that's sorry for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all about being honest and you know what I'm saying? being like those talk to those people. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, we're going to wrap this up because we're basically just rambling. We're going to wrap it up. You got anything else to say? No? 
Mm-hmm. About the people. Yeah. About people. And if you guys want to see another video with us together, which probably won't happen <laughs> for another month or two. Just, say month. Yeah, a month. If you guys want to see another video or video or questions for us, you can slide right in. No, I'm, I'm just joking. I think they have treated too. He really does. He cheating people under my pictures. And they don't reply. <laughs> you peep that? <laughs> uh, I think one of them blocked me before. Good. <laughs> I don't care. But yeah, you can follow us on our social media. I'll leave his right there and mine right here. And I'll leave it in the description box below. I probably won't leave his because if you want mine, you'll find his. Don't be trying to find him. Wow. <laughs> But anyway, comment down below for any questions or anything like that about us. If y'all want to know more about us, you guys can leave questions and we'll make a video or I'll make a video if you're not here at the moment. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Like my other videos. Watch them. Discuss. Leave comments. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Peace.